amen. On today, we're going to be speaking on from, from a subject. Who are you listening to? Oh, oh, my, yeah. God. oh my God. God dropped that into my spirit. Ooh. Who are you listening to? Oh, Jesus. And one of our main scriptures, we're going to take our time. One of our main scriptures that will be coming from Genesis chapter 3, Amen. verses 1 through 4. Genesis 3, 1 through 4. Amen. Who are you listening to? Jesus. Genesis chapter 3. Verses 1 through 4. Mm. Now the serpent uh, Jesus. was more subtile than any beast of the field, which the Lord God had made. And he said unto the woman, mm. Yea, hath God said, Ye shall not eat of every tree of the garden? And the woman said unto the serpent, We may eat of the fruit of the trees of the garden, but of the fruit of the tree which is in the midst of the garden. Mm. God hath said, Ye shall not eat of it, neither shall you touch it, mm. lest you die. Mm. Jesus. And the serpent said unto the woman, mm -hmm. You shall not surely die. Jesus. For God doeth know that in the day ye eat thereof, then your eyes shall be opened, mm -hmm. and ye shall be as gods, yeah. knowing good and evil. And I'm going to read verse 6 as well. Amen. And when the woman saw that the tree was good for food, and that it was pleasant to the eyes, mm. and a tree to be desired, to make one wise. What did she do? She took mm. of the fruit thereof mm -hmm. Jesus. and did eat Jesus. and gave also unto her husband and he did eat. Jesus. Mm -hmm. They both ate from the tree yes, they did. that Jesus. God had commanded them not, not to eat mm -hmm. from. Jesus. And we know who they were listening to. Yes, we do. Now, we want to realize that the serpent was not talking to them. The serpent was an instrument used by Satan Amen. himself. Amen. He came through the serpent, but it was Satan that was speaking. Amen. Yes, Amen. Let's go to Genesis 2, chapter 2, verses 14 through 17. And we're going to begin reading verse 14. In Genesis chapter 2. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, verse 15. Mm -hmm. And the Lord God took the man and put him into the garden. Amen. Yes, Genesis 2, start with the verse. I'm going to start with verse 15. Mm -hmm. Amen. Of Genesis chapter 2. Amen. And the Lord God took the man and put him into the garden of Eden to dress and keep it. Mm -hmm. And the Lord commanded the man, saying, of every tree of the garden, Jesus. thou mayest freely eat. He said, freely eat. Mm. Amen. Of every tree. Mm. But of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, thou shalt not eat of it. That's what God said. Amen. Mm -hmm. For in the day that thou eatest thereof, thou shalt surely die. Mm. 
Now the serpent said behind those words, you're not going to die. That's, That's what, what he said. said. But God says you will die. That's what God said. Who are you <laughs> listening to? Amen. That's right. Amen. God said you will. What God's word says, it, it means. And a lot of people, they don't pay this book any attention. They don't even read it like they should or we should. I say we because maybe I'm in the group too. But there are some people that does not read it at all. Jesus. It's a, a dusty book on their shelf. Some may use it as a book prop to hold other books up. But that what God said in this little book, in the book on the pages of the Bible, what God said is truth. Amen. 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 And when I look at Genesis, look into Genesis, and I read chapter 2, verses 14 through 17, God told them that they could freely eat. That's what he said. Of every tree that was in the garden. The only tree, the only limitation was on the tree of knowledge, the knowledge of good and evil. So I'm almost persuaded to believe that they could freely eat from the tree of life as well. Yes, they mm -hmm. could. Because that was in the midst of a garden as well. Yes, yes they could. But God did not say that you cannot eat from the tree of life, nor can you eat from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. He said you can freely eat from every tree. Come on. And I believe it was God's will for them to be able to eat from the tree of life. Amen. Because when we go to Revelation, we see that same tree of life there. For the healing For the healing of the nation, and men will be able to eat from that tree. Yes. But he only stipulated one tree. And then uh, in that same chapter, chapter 3, at the end, God said to the triune being, he says before he cast man out, he said, now man has knowledge of good and evil. Uh -huh. Man is like, have become one of us now. He was talking to the God here. Man has become one of us now uh -huh. to know good and evil. These he put forth his hands Amen. and eat from the tree of life and live forever. Amen. That's what God said. That's what he Amen. said. So prevent man from eating from that tree and living in the state that he's now in. I believe before he failed, he could eat. Yes, he yes. did. But now if he had eaten from that tree of life in the state that he was in, Come there would have been Jesus. no more plan for redemption. Man. He will have eternal life in that fallen state. Jesus. So God banished him out from the tree, of, from the Garden of Eden, to protect the tree of life. I believe until the prophecy came true, when God said to Adam, said to the serpent, that your seed shall bruise his heel, and. His seed shall bruise your head. Mm. I believe that God sealed it, that tree of life, because man one day was coming back. Jesus. To the garden of Eden. Jesus. Huh? Jesus. Come on, take it down. He was coming back. Mm. Coming back home. Jesus. He wasn't coming back as the first Adam. No, he mm. wasn't. But guess what? The second Adam mm -hmm. will bring him back to paradise. Mm -hmm. I think about when Jesus was on the tree. Was the thief that was dying. Jesus. Mm. He was already, he, Jesus had already reclaimed paradise. Yes, Jesus. Mm. And he said, Today thou shalt be with me in, in, in. in paradise. Amen. 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 So paradise are for those that have been redeemed through our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. The Bible said one day we're going to eat freely from the tree of life. Oh, Amen. Jesus. We're going yes. to eat freely one day. We don't understand the mystery. But that's what the Bible says. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to even try to understand. Mm -hmm. Jesus, Jesus. But guess what? I believe it. Amen. 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 So we see in the beginning that, and I believe that's what Satan was after. Yes. When he uh, 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 tricked Adam and when he spoke to Adam, that's what Satan was after because Satan knew that when Adam listened to his voice, 
or that when Adam accepted his word, Jesus. that that word was going into Adam's spirit Jesus. and Adam's soul. It was like a seed yes. going into Adam. Jesus. And Adam would become what Satan wanted him to be. And Satan would be able to live through Adam. Jesus. So Satan, I believe that's what the devil Jesus. was after, to bring about a kingdom. Mm -hmm. A kingdom Jesus, Jesus. of ungodly Jesus. <laughs> and unholy That's what he wanted. people That's what he that wanted. could never die. Mm -hmm. Jesus. Jesus. I believe that's what he was after. You know? Jesus. So God saw that and he said, at least he put forth his hands and eat from the tree of life Jesus. and live forever. Mm -hmm. He can't live forever because he's no longer in my image now. That's right. mm -hmm. He's no longer after my likeness, so he cannot live forever. My will was for God, for Adam to live in my image mm -hmm. and to multiply Amen. in my image. Mm -hmm. But because he's listening, what we see just in these few verses is that when you listen mm -hmm. to the wrong spirit, mm -hmm. you offset mm -hmm. what God has planned for us. So many times we ask the questions, why, Lord? Why am I in this place? Why am I in this state? Why is this happening to me? Why is it happening? Because you listen to the wrong voice. Who are you listening to? It's up to you. When I look at the word voice, voice means utterance. Something that's uttered. That's what the word voice mean. And with a voice comes a sound. Mm -hmm. Amen. We hear a sound. With sound comes hearing. Mm -hmm. And the word hear means to understand, to see, or to comprehend. Mm -hmm. To understand, to see, or to comprehend. Mm -hmm. I'm reminded when Jesus, or when John was talking about Jesus, and John said in St. John chapter 1 that he was the light and life yes. of the world. Mm -hmm. But the world comprehended. He came unto his own and his own comprehended him, him not. Jesus. They didn't know he was in the world and the Amen. world was made by him. The world was created by Jesus because he was the word of God. And if you go to Genesis, that's why it's important. To listen to the word of God. It's important to listen and to know who you're listening to. Amen. Because we know that Genesis says in the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. Mm -hmm. And it says, and the earth was void. Yes. And you know what void means? It was, nothing. nothing was there. Nothing. Nothing. Nothing except a huge mass. And the Bible says that the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the deep, and God did what He said. Amen. He spoke. Amen. So we see God spoke, and when God spoke, it was. Mm -hmm. Jesus. If you go to Genesis chapter 1 and chapter 2, it said, and God said. And when God finished saying, it says everything He said was good. Mm -hmm. Yes. It was very good. What do we see here? We see God's creative power. Yes. It's simple yes. as that. We see whatever God says, it will come to pass. Yes. yes. Jesus. It will happen. Yes, it and is. then John starts his um message out in St. John 1 by saying, In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the word was God. Why is that important? It's important because everything that happened in the earth realm was already ordained and spoken by God. Amen. And it's important that we believe that. Because Satan's job is just like as he did in Genesis. His job is to make you doubt Jesus. what God said. Yes. He's going to always do it. He has not stopped. No, he hasn't. Anytime God speaks... He's going to come behind that word Jesus. and he's going to tell, contradict it. It's not going to happen. Mm -hmm. He's going to try to yeah. analyze yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you got to know mm -hmm. 
who spoke it. Yeah. And you got to determine in your heart, I am going to listen Amen. to the voice of God. Amen. I remind, I'm reminded when little Samuel was a child. Yes. yes. And his mother, Hannah, had taken him mm -hmm. to the temple. Mm -hmm. And when God began to call Samuel, Samuel, mm -hmm. and he heard God, and he was listening, but he could not distinguish Gee, no, he couldn't. whose voice it was. Amen. It's important that, no, that we know God's voice. Yes. It's, it's vital. Yes. We need to spend time, Lord, if I hear from you, think about it. Just think about Amen. what your life would be, what our lives would be, Amen. if on a daily basis we could hear from God. Jesus. How we would walk. Jesus. The decisions we would make. Yes. Amen. If on a daily basis. Yes. We can hear him speak to us. Yes. And if we uh, accumulate. I don't want the word accumulate. If we um, got the habit. There's another word I'm looking for. But I'll use got for right now. Amen. If we got the habit. Of sitting still. Amen. Sitting in, to his, in his presence. And saying God. I'm going to sit here until you speak to me. Oh, yes. Brother, it takes seven days or I'm not, not sitting, not doing anything, but I'm going to sit in my spirit, in my mind. Amen. I may be working and cooking and eating, but I'm still Amen. waiting for you to speak Amen. to me. What should I do, God? And he called Samuel. And Samuel went to Eli. Jesus. Because he thought Eli and he thought it was Eli's voice. Yes. And sometimes when God speaks to us, we may think that it's man's voice. Amen. Yes. But it's God that's, that's speaking right. to Amen. us. That's right. He has a way of talking to us. Uh -oh. He went to Eli. Eli says, I didn't call you Samuel. Go back and lie down. Jesus. And he went back to lay down and the voice called him again, Samuel. Jesus. He got him and went right back to Eli. Yes, he did. Eli says, I didn't call you, Samuel. Jesus. He went back a third time. And yes, he did. God called him again. Jesus. And God is persistent. Yes, he Sometimes is. God is calling you. you got to know when God is calling Jesus. you. Jesus. God is calling people. Yes, he is. <clears throat> for his purpose, for yes. his glory. Yes. And you can't answer him until you know it's him. Jesus. You can't surrender to him. Jesus. Until you know it's him. Well, Lord. I can't hear your voice. Sometimes if you can't hear your voice, his voice, he'll begin to have things happening in your life. Yes. Amen. Because he's trying to get your attention. Yes, he is. He's trying to get you to surrender. And then Eli said to Samuel, the next time you hear that voice, Samuel, this is what you say. Speak, Lord. Speak. I want God to speak to me. Amen. Speak, Lord, for your servant heareth you. And when little Samuel said that, the minute he said it, God began to speak. Jesus. And what happened in this case, Samuel became familiar with the voice of God. Amen. Yes, That's the word I wanted. If we familiar, familiarize, Amen. I pray that we become familiar. Amen. To the voice of God. Pray for them. Jesus. Let me know when is your voice. Yes, Lord. Yeah. Simon yes, said, Lord, because Satan is constantly talking. Yes, he is. And what Jesus. Satan says sound good. But you've got to say, I can't listen to that. I want to listen to what God is saying. So who are you listening to? Are you listening to the news? Uh -oh. Are you listening to the financial economy? Are you listening to all of those that, uh, that, that, that are intelligent, that call themselves intelligent and run this world? Who are you listening? Who are you listening to? Jesus. I'm reminded of when the people of God came out of Egypt. They had been in Egypt for 400 years. And they had not heard the voice of God. They knew what the promise of God was. Yes. But they had not heard God's voice. Jesus. And they were in Egypt. They were bound in Egypt under Pharaoh, Jesus. under the Egyptians. 
And God spoke to Moses and called Jesus. Moses and told Moses, I want you to take my voice into Egypt. I'm going to send my voice into a place of bondage. Jesus. Into Jesus. a place of captivity. Jesus. Yes. Into a place where there was a strong, strong, strong hope. Jesus. You weren't going to walk out of Egypt any kind of way. And Moses said to God, what must I say when I go into Egypt? What word did God send into Egypt? What word did God Jesus. speak to Moses? God says, go into Amen. Egypt Amen. and tell Pharaoh, let my people go. Amen. That was the word. Amen. That was the message. But Pharaoh didn't want to listen. No, he didn't. He made up in his mind, I'm going to turn a deaf ear Jesus. to God. Jesus. But God said, let my people go. Amen. And Moses took that word into Egypt. And Pharaoh asked a question, who is this God? That I should let the people go. But what we see in the Exodus coming out of Egypt, we see that God did not only send his word. And we have to know that because today God doesn't just only send his word. He does not just only speak his word, but when God sent his word into Egypt, his action followed his word. Jesus. Jesus. Egypt was yes, devastated. Yes, yes, it was. And I believe God is speaking in America today. Jesus. I think about, he's speaking and he's saying things to America. We are doing things in this nation that God is not pleased with. And God is saying, if my preachers don't say it, I'll say it. Jesus. If they don't call on, if they don't pray and, and call on my name, I'm still going to act. Jesus. I'll, I'll, I'll send my hand into any nation Jesus. that will not listen to me. Jesus. I think about the um, movie that we showed a while back, one, one Friday night, and how these people were looking at this horse yes. for healing. Yes. Yes. And I thought about it. I said, you know what, Lord? There are more people in the barn <laughs> trying to get the horse to heal them <laughs> than it was in the church. They, the church. Yeah. Yeah. The <laughs> they had a long line. Yes, long they line. did, all down the street. Right down the street. <laughs> so, but they were saying that the horse, uh -huh. come on, was their God. The horse yeah. was their yeah. healer. But the church was almost empty. Mm -hmm. And they were not listening to what the preacher was saying, mm -hmm. that God is your healer. That's right. God has said in his word, I am your healer, I'm your health. Mm -hmm. And people are not listening. They're listening to other things and Jesus. seeking other sources. And I thought about when that tornado come. I can imagine God said in heaven, I got to do something with that barn. <laughs> well, my people are going to be lost. How can I get them back into church? <laughs> they should be in the house of God. But they Jesus. left the house of God. And that's what we do. We leave the house. Come on, Jesus. Seeking help and seeking healing and seeking peace and seeking security. We leave where security and healing is. And we go other places looking for those things. Jesus. And in the movie, God sent a tornado and tore that barn down. Knocked the horse down. The horse almost lost his leg. But what God was letting them know, the horse doesn't have a thing to stand on. Jesus. 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 Because I'm the healer. Amen. And I'm a jealous God. Ooh, Jesus. I break his leg. Jesus. And he's trying to stand where I should be standing. Yes. So who are you listening to? I, I, I talked about the movie to say that God is still the same. Yes. You can't put anything before him. No, and can't. a lot of times when unrighteousness and unholiness is going on, God will respond. Mm -hmm. If you won't listen to his word, you'll listen to the weather. Jesus. Amen. If you won't listen to his word, you'll listen to the stuff. A fire uh -huh. that's burning one place and the results are coming way over here. Oh, yes, it was. Nobody. Yes, it was. If you won't listen to his word and turn to him, you'll listen to the crime and robberies. Jesus. Because God says, who are you listening to? Thank you, Jesus. God told Solomon, if my people, and the sad thing about it is the people of God are not listening. Jesus. 
to what God is saying. And God is saying Jesus. to his church, who are you listening to? Jesus. Who are you listening to? Jesus. We just read in the book of Genesis how that Adam listened to the serpent. And in listening to the serpent and not listening to God, Adam put himself in a terrible place. Let's look at Romans 10 and 17. I just want to show how important the word of God is. Amen. The word of God is to be studied, is to be read, is to be understood. The word of God is vital. What does Romans, it's, it's a familiar verse. Look what Amen. Romans says. So then faith cometh by what? Hearing. Hearing. Faith cometh by hearing. Amen. Not with your audible ears, but I'm going to change that word, faith cometh by hearing, to faith cometh by seeing and comprehension. Amen. Mm. Faith. So then faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by what? The word Amen. of God. But I say, have they not heard? But the Bible lets us know that God sent his word when they were in the wilderness. But because they didn't have faith, Jesus. you need faith when you're hearing God's word. Jesus. What is faith? Hebrews 11 tells us that faith is the substance of yes. things hoped for. Jesus. What are you hoping for today? Mm. What do you want God to do for you? Jesus. Huh? Jesus. What do you need God to do for you? Someone sing the song, Earth has no sorrow mm. that heaven cannot heal. Mm. I'm reminded when God asked his, asked his prophet Jeremiah, mm -hmm. Behold, I am the Lord. Jesus. The God of all flesh. Is there anything too hard for me to do? Amen. You've got to know that Hebrews also lets us know that he that cometh unto God must believe that he is. And he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. How is our, how does Satan kill our faith? When we're in trouble. Jesus. And we pray to God the trouble don't stop. Mm. When we want it to stop. Jesus. We are praying and fasting. Mm. And the trouble gets worse. Jesus. Hallelujah. And Satan will tell you, mm. like he told Adam and Eve, it's not working. That's what Jesus. Jesus. One time you were zealous in prayer. Uh -oh. You got up at a certain time and you prayed every day. You fasted, but when, after a while, when you saw things weren't changing, mm -hmm. you started getting a little slow in praying. Yes. You, you didn't feel like praying anymore. Yes. Jesus. Because of what you're going through. Jesus. You drag yourself up and your prayers are weak. Now. You're not praying like you did at first. Why? Because I don't see no change. Jesus. And because I don't see uh, any change coming, I don't believe God can hear me. I don't, I don't believe prayer works. Prayer is one of the most powerful things that we have. Yes, it's it our is. connection with the Father. Yes, yes. Because Jesus said, ask. And I don't believe it changed. He said, ask. That's what he said. And it shall be given unto you. Amen. Jesus said, ask. And then the Bible says, James said, says, when you ask, if you waver, and if you're not stable, then you're not going to receive from the Lord. That's it. But if you ask in faith, and the enemy come to kill your faith, I'm reminded when David said in Psalms 7, 73, my foot had almost slipped. That's what he said. I felt like giving up. I said to myself, I've done it all in vain. I've cleaned my life. I served God. 
Jesus. They did their dirty work and nothing happened to them? Come on. As a matter of fact, they're blessed. Jesus. Now what's wrong with this picture, God? Jesus. I'm living holy. I'm going to church. Jesus. I'm doing what you want me to do. Yes. I'm always in trouble. Jesus. One day I'm going through with this. Jesus. One day I'm going through with that. And when I survey the enemy's camp, they're having a party. Jesus. That's how it looks. What's wrong with this picture, God? But David says, uh, I went into the sanctuary and I turned my attention. That's what he said, God. Huh? I turned my attention from the enemy's camp and started looking where I should have been looking at first. I went back into God's sanctuary. And I found out what his plan for my life was. Oh my God, when I saw that, I saw that he had set them in slippery places. Yes. I don't want to be where they are because they're getting ready to fall. Yes. I don't want their prosperity because they're getting ready to fall. God has ordained that they fall at a certain time. Yes. Then David said, I was wrong. I should have kept my eyes on God because God will answer prayer. Yes, he will. We're witnesses that he does. Amen. Somebody sing the song, You Can't Hurry My God. That's why we sing the song, Lord, help me to wait. Because you're going to come, you're going to fix it, you are going to change it because you are God. There's nothing too hard for you to do. Not only are you God, but you are a compassionate God. Yes. Yes. You are a loving God. Yes. You, are, you are a forgiving God. Yes, he is. Almighty and all powerful. There's nothing too hard for you Thank to do. You. Thank you. Thank you. David found out what it was. He changed his mind. Yes, he did. He says, I'm not going to listen to what Satan says. So Satan is always there. Yes. When you sat down and, to read your Bible and meditate on your Bible and say, God, give me a word for Please, today. Jesus. Give me a word for Thank today. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. I remember when David and his men had gone out to battle. Mm. And while they were gone out, the enemy came into his camp. Jesus. Yes, he did. And raided the camp. Yes, he did. Took his wives uh -huh. and his children. And everything he had worked hard for, his substance. All the spoil that God had given him, the enemy came and took it. Yes, he did. And that's how it is sometimes. Everything you work hard for, everything that you hope in, Satan will come and take it from you. Because he wants to kill your faith. And yes, he, he wants to destroy you. And he wants to, to just rob, from, steal from you. He'll kill your faith. You had one plan and he'll step in the midst of that plan and try to offset it and mess it up. And when David got back and saw that his wives were gone and his children and his substance were gone, the Bible said that the men began to cry. David and his men, they wept until they couldn't weep anymore. Jesus. But when they finished crying, two things happened. First thing happened, when the men finished crying, they wanted to kill David. <laughs> yes, they did. After they finished mourning, because they felt like it's your fault. Uh -huh. Because if we weren't out there fighting with you, we could have been home pr protecting our wives and our children and our stuff. They wanted to kill David. But when David finished crying, David knew what to do. Yes, David did. went into the temple. Stripped off everything that he had. Jesus. And put on his priestly garments. Yes, he did. Huh? And he laid before God. Jesus. After he finished crying. After you finish complaining. Mm -hmm. After you finish crying. Right. After you finish Jesus. talking about it. Go lay before God. Jesus. Yes. After the, the devil finished talking. Go and lay before God. Yes. Because God, I need an answer. Yes. For this situation, the Bible says he laid before God, and God spoke to David and told David, David, arise. Jesus, Jesus. Go and conquer all. That's what it says. And he went with David, but sure. David had listened to God. He didn't listen to the men. No, the men didn't. wanted to kill him. Mm -hmm. There are some circumstances in our lives want to destroy us, want to take us out. Jesus. Say, send it to take us Jesus. out. That's what he, he wants your nerves back. Yes, That's yes, what he, he does. Does. And then once he 
he talk to you and get your nerves bad, then he wants you to become a drug addict. That's it. He'll put you on pills That's to it. go to bed and to wake up. Oh, uh, you, 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 you need a no for I'm just going to name it. You need a die for today. <laughs> your nerves are all messed up. He's talking in your ear. You know, you know this is going to happen. You yes. Oh you reach for the bottle. Jesus. You can't hardly get the top off. Jesus. Take that pill and a few hours later, he come back again. You know, yeah. this is going to take another pill. And before uh -huh. you know it, come on. you're strung out on pills because of your problem. Jesus. From the problem to the bottle. From the bottle to the tablet. Jesus. From the tablet to the needle. Jesus. That's how he destroys you. Jesus. But when you finish listening to the devil, you've got to turn your face towards God. Say that God, I'm not going to take one pill for it. I'm not going to take one. I'm not going to stick one needle in my arm. I'm not going to take one drink for it. I'm going to turn to God. I'm going to listen to what God has Jesus. to say. Because whatever God tells me to say, that's what I'm going to do. Yes. Amen. And I do what God says, tells me to do, then I'll see the results. Yes. Amen. Yes. That's the only way. Yes. If God tells you to do it as he did in Egypt, he's going with you. He's going to send his yes, angels before you. Yes, and he will. he will fight for you. Yes. I know yes. one thing for certain. Pharaoh let him go. Yes. He, right. he was reluctant. Yes, he did. Sometimes yes, the devil is reluctant. Yes. Uh -huh. But if you do what God tells you to do and listen to God and get a word from God, doesn't matter how reluctant the devil is. They're coming out of there. Amen. They're coming out of there to him by the word of God. Amen. Amen. Because God will destroy everything that's holding them. Yes, yes. he will. Yes, he will. There were ten gods in Egypt, yes. powerful gods. And God knocked every one of them down. He devastated. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes, yes. Whatever is holding you in bondage, whatever is holding you in hostage, get away from the Lord. Amen. Jesus. Amen. And when you say, he promised, when you say what I say, your circumstances will be like stubble. Jesus. Open your mouth and speak the word. God, give me a word. I can't say what my anger say. Uh-uh. No, we can't. No. I can't say what my stress is telling me to say. No, we can't. I can't even say what my neighbors, my oh, friends. Yes. Hallelujah. It's telling me to say. Yeah. I love you. But I can't listen to you right Jesus. now. Amen. I can't listen. I need a word from the Lord. Yes. Because the only thing that's going to bring me out is the word of God. Amen. That's the only thing. Amen. Because with his word is his power. Yes. Amen. And he'll come in there. Bring me out. Yes. Oh, when Lazarus was in the grave, Jesus. death was holding on to Lazarus. Yes, it was. Yes. Yes, it was. Holding him tight. Yes, it was. And the Bible said he had been in the grave. How many days? Three days. Three days in the grave. Jesus. And death was holding him tight. Jesus. Jesus. There's no man that can deliver from my grip. Jesus, that's what he thought. Huh? That's what he thought. Thank you. His mother might have lied him, but she couldn't get him there. No, she couldn't. No, she couldn't. He was in the grave. Yes. yes Hallelujah. Thank you. Mm. And Mary and Martha knew what to do. Jesus. Who are you listening to? Jesus. The mortals were there to mourn. Yes, they yes. were. As they, yes, they were. normally do. Yes, they were. And Lazarus was dead. Mm. And the Bible said they had sent for Jesus. My brother is sick. Jesus. Huh? My brother is in trouble. Mm -hmm. Come, Lord. Come, Jesus. But he didn't come Jesus. when they sent for him. Huh? Are you praying for something that hasn't happened yet? Jesus. 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 Keep on praying. Jesus. Don't stop praying. Jesus. Don't give up. Jesus. Keep on praying. Keep on calling. Don't let frustration take you. Keep on calling on him. Don't give up. Don't let frustration take you out. Don't let it take you out. Jesus. Take you out. He didn't come when Martha and Mary called on him. No, he didn't. Hallelujah. Thank you. When they called on him, he was just sick. That's it. That's it. You can imagine they nursed him with fear, nursed him and nursed him and mm -hmm. saw him getting weaker. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sometimes the situation seemed to be getting worse. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. 
as it doesn't matter. I'm here to tell you, let it get as worse as it can. God can still fix it. Yes. After a while, he died. Somebody yes, says, too late now, Mary. What happened? I know they all talked all to her. All over. Like people do. Yes, uh-huh. She didn't have anybody to comfort her. Mary, you know, if Jesus, I, 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 I don't understand, but I, I believe he's going to show up. But show up? What are you showing up now for? The man is dead. He, can, he needs to stay where he was. What kind of a friend is he? Jesus. 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 Jesus is going yes. to show up. Mm -hmm. yes. And somebody might have said, well, Mary, listen, Mary, who are you going to listen to? Don't listen to the crowd. Sometimes mm -hmm. we listen to the crowd. When you're waiting for something on something from God, be careful who you listen to. We see that. Don't listen yeah. to the crowd. The crowd was saying he's already dead, Mary. And I can imagine somebody might have said, well, you know what, I don't mean no harm, but we better look at how America committed. Because it, this, this, this death has Jesus. taken a toll on her. Jesus. Jesus. You know, Jesus. Uh, she's not acting. She's not uh -huh. reality. But uh -huh. where was the friend? Uh-huh. Or where was the person that will come up along beside Mary and Moth? They said, wait a minute, Mary and Moth. Do you remember when Jesus was at this very table? Come on. What did he say, Mary and Martha? Now you're going through, but remember what the word said. Jesus. Did he not say to you, I am the resurrection and the life? Amen. Though you were dead uh -huh. in me, Jesus. yet shall you live again. Amen. I am the resurrection sitting at your table.
into your body. Uh oh. Jesus. Huh? Jesus. Jesus. Are you listening to your mind? Jesus. Are you listening to your friend? When it comes to your place in God, you can't listen to nobody but God. That's it. Joe said, though he's saving, yet will I trust him. Yet will I trust him. Amen. Ah! Am I appointed time? Oh, I'm going to wait. What are you waiting on, Joe? I'm waiting for a change. Amen. That's it. That's when you wait for a change, Jesus. you keep on praying. Jesus. When you wait for that change, Jesus. you remain faithful to Jesus. God. Because it's not going to be in vain. I'm waiting for my change. Jesus. You may walk away, but I'm waiting for God to stand up. Jesus. And to plead my cause, oh God. Amen. I'm waiting on you, God. Jesus. And I know it won't be in vain. Job said, all of my appointed time, I'm going to wait until my change comes. And look what Job said. I know my redeemer lives. That's what he said. Did he not say? That's what he said. Looking at his poverty. Looking at his loss. Looking at, looking at his bad health. He knew that my health is going to be redeemed. Yes. My house is going to be redeemed. Yes. My children are going to be redeemed. Yes. The cattle are going to be redeemed. Amen. The houses are going to be redeemed. Yes. I know my redeemer lives. Hallelujah. I'm going to get it all back. Amen.
yes, Lord. Yes, Joshua. Yes, sir. Finally. Yes, sir. Finally. Jesus. Took away that filth of God. Yes, Lord. It's going to be washed. It's going to be washed in the blood of the Lamb. Jesus. Be faithful. Jesus. Be faithful. Yes, Lord. Be faithful. Yes, Lord. Listen to God. Yes, Lord. Do what God tells you to yes, do. Lord. Yes, He will wash yes, over your children. Yes, Lord. Yes, Some new rags. Jesus. Jesus. Oh, these old rags. Yes. These old rags. Jesus. These old shameful rags. Yes. I've got to suffer them right now. Jesus. Sometimes I'm up. Sometimes I'm down. Jesus. Sometimes I'm in pain. Jesus. Sometimes I feel good. Yes. But one day, yes. one day, Jesus. I'm going to shed these old filthy rags. Yes. I heard Paul when he said, Ah, yes, Lord. Jesus. The trunk. Yes. 
Yes. That's what Isaiah said. Jesus. A virgin girl shall conceive Jesus. and bring forth a son. Yes. His name he shall be wonderful. Yes. Wonderful counsel. Yes. Jesus. Mighty God. Yes. Everlasting Father. Yes. Prince of Peace. Yes. Do you want peace? Jesus. Emmanuel. Jesus. Meaning God with us. Yes. He's with us right now. Yes. Do you see him? Do you believe him? I no, I don't see you, God. How do you know that he's with us? Yes. Because he said, I'll never Jesus. leave you. Yes. No, will I forsake yes. you. Yes. And he told his disciples, yes. he said, Lo, Lo, I'll be with you always, even until the end of the world. Yes. And he told his disciples in St. John chapter 5, yes. 14, yes. I will not leave you comfortless. I will not leave you without peace. Jesus. I will not leave you without joy. Jesus. But I send you the comforter. Jesus. The comforter is in the earth right now. Yes. You don't have to go through what you're going through. He said, I will not leave you comfortless. I'll send you a comforter. Yes. He'll lead you into all truth. Yes. Yes. He'll bring back to your remembrance. Yes, yes. When you get ready to slip over to the left and you get ready to listen to the wrong voice, the Holy Ghost yes. will tell you, yes. don't you do it. Yes. Don't you say it. Well, Lord, what are you saying? You need the Holy Ghost. Amen. Oh, my God. Amen. You need to go in your prayer closet yes. like they did on the day of Pentecost. Mm -hmm. And you need to tell God, I need your spirit. Yes. I'm facing some stuff. Yes. I'm facing some people yes. that are stronger than I am. Yes. I'm going through some things. Yes. I tried to fix it. I resolved all of my resources. And I found out I couldn't do Ooh. nothing. But God, I'm putting it in your hands. Jesus. You are Jehovah Jireh, my provider. Jehovah Rapha, yes. my heal and my good help. Yes. Jehovah Nisan, my banner in my warfare. Yes. You're Jehovah Shalom. Yes. You're always with me. You're Jehovah Shalom. You're my peace. He'll give you peace. Yes. Yes. Yes.
protection of them. Amen. I saw it more than them. But yes. certain your strength holds it on. But God said, let it go. When you let it go, yes. I'll pick it up. Amen. I'm waiting for you to let it go. Amen. You're praying about it. But I can't pick it up Jesus. until you release it in my hand. And if when you release it, I've got to I fix it. Because I'm God. I'm the one that made them. I can't remake them. Jesus. He said in Ezekiel 36, I wash them in clean water. I give them a new heart. Jesus. Somebody needs a new heart. You want them to change, but they can't change with the heart that they have. No, they can't. Oh, no, they can't. No, they can't. Because the heart that they have is full of stuff. Right. Oh, yes, it is. Romans 1 tells you what man's heart is oh, full yes, of. It does. That's what an unregenerated man, a sinner's heart, they're going to do what sinners do. Yes. They're going to act like sinners yes. act. Because Satan is a prince of this world. Yes, and they're Satan's subject. Yes. Jesus told them, did he not? In St. John 8 and 44. Yes, you are of your father. God is no longer your father. You are of your father. The devil. Jesus. And the deeds of your father. Yes, you you're going to you're do it. Do it. Whatever Satan tells you to do. You don't have the power to resist him. Because his seed is in you. Jesus. His Appetite, he put an appetite in you. And Paul says, I'm almost done. Paul says in Romans 7, I would do good. I would do what I should do. But that mind, evil is always present. Jesus. And the things that I hate, I find myself doing. He says, oh, wretched man that I am, who can deliver me from this body of death? But then he looked at Catherine, and he remembered, I was crucified with him. Nevertheless, I live. Yet not I, but Christ lives in me. Jesus. And when the devil rises up, in that fallen nature, as Christ rose up and still the storm, the Christ in you will give you strength to resist the devil Amen. and not listen to him. And you'll put a word where fear is, put a word where pain is, put a word where fear is, put a word there. Replace that attitude with a word. Replace that fear with a word. Replace it with a word. Yes. Replace it and God give me your word. I got some fear here. Jesus. They're standing up against me. Put your word there. And watch God give you his word. Listen to him. Amen. Who are you listening to? You can tell who people are listening to by the life they live. Yes. Yes. You can tell who they're listening to by yes. the battles they're defeating. Yes. You got some people that know the word but don't believe the word. Uh -oh. The Jews knew the word, but they didn't recognize the word. Yeah. You know, and Jesus said, the law testified me. You know the law like the back of your hand, but you don't know me. That's what you don't know me. And the law testified me. You, you got to know. That's why it's important to know the word. Yeah. Listen to the word. Listen to what God prompts. Doesn't matter how bad it looked, don't listen to people because they'll kill your faith. Yes, they will. They'll turn your faith from God. Jesus. And once you lose faith, you tie God's hands. Jesus. God is waiting on you to build your faith up again. How do I build my faith? What did Romans 10 and 17 say? Faith cometh by hearing. Yes. Do you hear what God has said to you? Yes. Do you know what God has promised us? The promises of God are sure. Yes. The promises of God. He cannot lie. Yes, and so be it. Mm. I'm seeking your face. He said, Every my people. Jesus. Those who are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray. Hallelujah. Jesus. Pray, 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 pray. Jesus. That's right. Somebody said, Pray, pray, pray. Yeah, pray, pray. P R A Y. P R E Y. P R A Y. Pray, pray to God. He that's a prey for the enemy. Jesus. You will pray for the devil. Jesus. He right. pray on your life. He yes, pray on yes, your he does. Yes, he will. Yes, he does. He pray on your fears. Yes, he'll put the fear, fear in you. Yes, and Jesus. then he'll build it up. Yes, he will. Jesus. Assuring you. Yes, he will. Okay. And you will always mm. see the worst. Jesus. Huh? Uh -huh. Jesus. But if you pray, God will open your eyes to yes, what he's around. doing. Keep your eyes on God. The apostles will have sunk. If they, if, if he had not put his eye back on Jesus, 
Yes. It was supernatural to walk on water. Huh? Yes, it was. It was supernatural. Man, a man cannot walk on water, but you can when Jesus said, come That's right. Uh-huh. That's, That's what right. faith. Mm -hmm. That's right. Faith is receiving those supernatural things. That's right. Manifested in the natural. Yes, sir. It was supernatural for a blind well, man's no, eyes yeah. to be open. Yeah. It was it supernatural? But they were. Yes. Well, the natural, yes. It was unnatural for a dead man to walk out of a grave, but he did. Yes, he did. It was unnatural yeah. for a woman, a young woman, to have a baby without a I man, but she did. Yes, yes. She did. Yes. How did she do it? Through the Spirit. So when you have faith, the Spirit will take those unnatural things like yeah. your spirit. and manifest it to His glory. Right. The Bible says that Jesus confirmed the work of the apostles with signs and wonders. They were confirmed. Jesus. Yeah. Jesus was with them. Yes. They laid their hands on sick bodies. Yes, they did. And they recovered. Yes. Jesus. That's what Jesus gave the church. He says, go ye out into all the world. First, preach the gospel. Because they can't do it without faith. Jesus. Preach the gospel. And if they believe, these signs will follow them. Amen. In my name, I give you the right Amen. to cast out an unclean spirit. Don't be afraid of it. Don't be baffled by it. Whether we use it or not, it's in us to cast them out. That's it. We can use it or take it to the grave. Uh -uh. But he said, I give you authority over all devils. In my name. We have the right to act. Jesus. In his name. Amen. Hallelujah. My Hallelujah. husband first went into the military. Yeah. Come on, testify. He took me downtown. Testify. He got a power of authority. Power of attorney. He signed that. That's what he did. Yes, that he anything did. I needed, mm -hmm. in his name, I could get it. Power of attorney. Power of attorney. That was it. Thank you. Power of attorney. Yes. Anything I needed. In other words, she can act as I. That's what happens. I'm not here, but she's mm -hmm. me. Yes. Yes. In another form. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. And that's what Jesus gave us the yes, power, of attorney. Uh, power of attorney. Power of attorney. Power of attorney. That he's not here, but we are here. Yes. Amen. And guess what he promised y'all? We get excited over his works, <laughs> but he said greater works. Uh -huh. that's what that's what I'm expecting from you. Jesus. Greater works. Not in quality, but in vastness. Yes, yes. that's it. Greater works. Greater you're going to reach more people. You're going to cast out more demons. Jesus. Because I go into the Father. And my Father's greater than I. He said, I'll send the Holy Ghost back. And for him by the Holy Spirit, you'll do it. Thank you, Holy Spirit. And even when you start when the devil going to tell you, he's going to put fear. You can't do it. Yeah. No, you can't. But Christ in you can do it. Yes. I can do nothing. Isn't that what he said in St. John 15? I am the true vine. Without me and you are the branches. Without me you can do nothing. That's how important listening to him is. You got to stand up to the devil. Learn how to stand up to him. Yes. You teach your children how to fight. Jesus. Father teaches son how to fight. Yes. A woman, uh, uh, sometimes women don't, I don't want to fight. And as the husband told the woman, if he's going to live in this world, he better learn to fight. He, sure he better does. learn to fight physically. He better learn to fight mentally. If they listen, if they don't listen, they're then they're going to go through a hard time in this life. They're going to be a prey. Yeah. They're going to be a prey Jesus. to society. Oh, yes. Who are you listening to? If you listen to Christ, don't worry about it. It's a done deal. You got to make sure. You know. I'm going. I said, God, I want to make sure that you told me this. Jesus. And I know you said, I said, thank God, we are going to glorify you today. Because we are going to go and get a great work done for you. Don't the city. Don't the city. But if you have not told me to go, mm -hmm. I'm going to back back. Amen. And let it ride on Jesus. And listen. That's right. Amen. I'm reminded when the apostles had made up their mind to go somewhere. Mm. 
to minister. Mm -hmm. And the Holy Ghost said, don't go there, go over to Macedonia. Yes, yes. So. I want you in Macedonia. Yes. Yes. And when you read the book of Acts and you see the things that happened in Macedonia, mm -hmm. Macedonia needed the gospel. Yes. Macedonia needed the move of the spirit, yes. witchcraft. Yes, it Sorcery. Did. Yes, it did. All kinds of things were going on in Macedonia. Go where the Spirit needs you, and then you'll go where you need it. Amen. He'll send you to hospitals. Amen. He'll send you to jails. Yes. Because he's got people there Jesus, that need to come out. That's right. Then Jesus called Lazarus, come forth, Lazarus. Jesus. Everybody didn't come out of the tomb. No. He, had, he had the power right then to raise every dead person that was in that tomb. Yes, he did. But it was Lazarus he was after. And when God sent us out, he's after Lazarus. Jesus. He's after Lazarus in the jail. Yes, he is. He's after Lazarus in the hospital. Yes, he is. He's Jesus. after Lazarus in the government. Yes. Jesus. He's after Lazarus in the military. He's stirring the pot now because Lazarus must come forth. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Who you listening to? He's after, after Lazarus in the school system. Oh, my God. Jesus. Yeah. Who yeah. are you? He's yeah. after Lazarus in our home. That's Come right. On. You may have five kids. One of them is Lazarus. Yes. Jesus. Jesse had many sons, but one was a David. Yes. And God was after David. Yes, he Jesus. was. Because he was the one he was going to covenant with. Mm. Who are you listening to? Praise God. Amen. Father God, we thank you. Thank you. Give us ears to you. Yes, Lord. Yes, sir. Eyes to see. Yes, Lord. Thank you. And a heart to surrender. Yes, thank Lord. You, Jesus. After we hear, after we see, give us the strength to say yes, Lord. That's yes, it. Lord. Oh, go. That's we thank it. you, Lord. You have Lazarus out there listening to Jesus. my voice. Yes. You are saying, come forth. Yes. You can come forth. Yes. I don't care what you're bound with, how long you've been bound. Jesus. But he's calling your name. Thank you, Jesus. All you have to do as little Samuel did, speak God Amen. for thy servant here. And if you listen, he'll bring you out. We know you. He will. We love you and we thank God for you. This is our prayer in Jesus' name. Let the body of Christ say amen. 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 Thank you, sir.